What's up guys and gals, Coach Scott Yergalevich here, and today I'm gonna to be a little selfish. I'm gonna talk about myself and how I learned to be a good golfer. So years ago, years and years and years and years ago, we're talking 2006, 2005, somewhere in that vicinity, I was a pretty good golfer, but I had like one incredibly tragic flaw with my golf swing and I could get away with it, but on the bad days, it just didn't work. I had the worst takeaway ever. And I think we see this a lot, at least I do on the lesson tee, we see a lot of players that will think that they're creating a lot of turn. But in reality, they're creating a lot of turn with their forearms. It feels like turn because the shoulders want to do something and they want to get involved. But what I used to do when I was way younger and way better looking was I used to set up to the golf ball and I used to be a chronic roller of the club. And so what happens is I would take that club back and this is what I would do. It felt like a turn. It felt like my shoulder was kind of going outwards. It felt like my shoulders were turning. In reality, I wasn't really doing anything besides ripping my arms inside and the club head. That is an absolute recipe for disaster. So for a while there, I would rip it inside, turn, get the club across the line, and because I was really smart, wasn't smart, I was more athletic, more so than I am now, I would come back down and I would extend, I'd make all these weird compensations to hit the golf ball, and guess what? I made it work, like it was actually pretty good, but it wasn't consistent. So what that would look like, and this is kind of my old swing, I hope I never go back to this, is I would rip it in, take it around, and hit it. And you saw there, it wasn't the world's worst shot, it sounded terrible, um, but it really wasn't that bad of a golf shot. So I learned to play that. And then once I understood the golf swing and I got really good at golf, I figured out these three things and how to fix that drill. Every player that I've ever had with an inside rolled takeaway has been able to fix their golf swing with these three drills. Let's figure them out. Here we go. All right, so now you're probably asking yourself, okay, well, that's fine and good. You got better. What are the drills? But first, let me just tell you why that's not good. Why do we not want to do that? So when we merely hold on to the golf club and roll the club in, what happens is the club or the center of mass, see where the center of mass is of this golf club? I'm trying my best to find it. There we go. It's somewhere about there. When the center of mass of that golf club gets too far in too soon, it tends to want to go up late and then over the top. So you just got a recipe for early extension. It's just what's going to happen, right? Like sometimes players can figure out Shay Reavy, really great golfer, uh, Mark Blackburn student. Somehow he gets that club a little bit in around, rolls it a fraction, but he kind of, you know, finagles it back there and hits great golf shots. Guys want a bunch. I don't think you, you should be able to do that because you don't practice as much as Shay Reavy, right? So here's what we need. And here's why we don't want the roll. When you roll, not only does the center of mass work behind you, guess what else happens? You turn really, really flat. So you start to stand up. You start to lose your inclination to the ball. So from a down the line view, if I try to make a swing and roll the club, everything starts to stand up. It's no good. We don't want to see that. It's going to make it really easy to dump the club back down, across, slice it, hook it. It's, it's a nightmare. So these are our three drills. This is what we're going to do. And it's a really great progression into getting your takeaway fix and being a world-class ball striker. Okay, so for the first drill, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take your golf club, you're gonna toss it. We don't need it. You're gonna use your hands, just your two arms and hands. We're gonna look at the down the line camera view here. So you're gonna take your arms, you're gonna dangle them down as if you were just holding onto your golf club. And from here, you ready? You're gonna take your right arm and put the back of your right hand against the back of your left hand. What we need to learn is how to not roll or pronate and supinate our arms on the way back. It happens at a totally different time. So let's put our arms in that. We're gonna crisscross them like this, right arm goes under. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel like the back of your right hand is just pulling your left arm down towards my down the line camera. So we're gonna go this way. What you're gonna feel is that your right hand is pointing down, the palm of your right hand is down and the palm of your left hand is up. If you are a chronic roller of the club face in the club, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna to wanna to do this. 
And because your arms are already crisscrossed and kind of tied in a knot, you're not gonna be able to do it. It's not gonna feel very good. So I want you to just feel like you're taking the back side of that right hand and pushing that left arm away from you. And then what do you notice from the down the line view? So what we're gonna see is a lot of tightness here, no gaps, no big gaps that you would normally see in here. Sure, you could throw a head cover in there. We've seen that drill a million times, but guess what? You can cheat that, most people do. So you're gonna make some practice backswings and you're gonna do this, this at your house. I want you to do this for two, three minutes a day. If you can start to feel that squeeze back there, you're gonna feel it like in your lower back a little bit because you're turning. Once you get to that point, guess what? I want you to then finally replace your hands and like kind of get one hand to point down and the other point back up. So if we've got the right hand down and the left hand up, to finish this backswing, you're gonna reverse them. You're gonna get your right hand to the sky and left arm or left hand down. So you're gonna go push it back, now turn them. Push them back, then turn them. If you do them in the wrong order, you're gonna have something that looks like this. It's the only way you can do it wrong as opposed to right. That's how I want you to start the drill. Now you're like, okay, that's well and good. Well, how do I make the next part? How do I actually put a golf club in my hand? So the progression for this is to grab yourself a golf club. I would have gotten that one, but I threw it too far from the camera. And I want you to hold on to it in your left hand as you normally would, and your right hand as if you're like a hockey player. I want you to just hold it just like this. Kind of hover that golf club up into the air, get your normal like left hand you know, on that golf club, right hand down on the shaft, and what I want you to do is if you are a chronic roller of the club, you would first immediately pull the handle out and the club head in. So you can see from down the line, the club is literally pivoting around my right hand and working in. And if I said add turn, you'd have to stand up and turn. What I want from you is I want you to take this club back and not allow that club head to get behind your lead arm. So see how outside the camera it looks here. At some point, yes, it'll start to work its way behind, but I don't wanna see that quite yet. So your job is take away, up to the top. Take away, keep that center of mass, this port right here, outside the handle, and up to the top. It's gonna to be really, really important that you work on that. And what you can do as well is on the way down, you can practice some finishes and you can practice some impact positions. This is a great drill just to learn positions of the golf swing. So back, down, post impact. Some of the things on post impact, those are a nice little add on, a little goodie for you. What you're gonna notice is if you don't roll it on the way back, you're not gonna wanna roll it on the way through. I know a lot of you early extenders, a lot of you rollers like to go fling the club. You're gonna realize it's really uncomfortable to get the club to race around your body like this. That's no fun. That's drill number two. So at home, work on this. When you're at the range, maybe you start your practice sessions with a couple reps of this. That would be ideal. And lastly, here's drill number three. But before I do that, do me a favor. Hit subscribe. I know it's down there somewhere. Leave a comment, like, share it. Maybe go look at one of the shorts I made for the video and share that. I'd love to get your feedback on some of the drills that we're doing here. Um, and if you're ever interested in a golf lesson or getting your swing evaluated, check out my skill list page. Uh, that would be really awesome. But I know you're here for drill number three. And so drill number three, it's, uh, it's gonna be really, really simple. And I think it's gonna be very, very helpful, but it's also really difficult. So if you can do the first two drills, you're gonna be really good. You're gonna be in great shape. The last drill, um, sometimes people dub this the hell drill, but <laughs> what we're going to do, and we're going to force ourselves to do this correctly because it's really difficult, is you're going to set up to the golf ball. You're going to get your left hand on the club. You're going to get your right hand on the club, but we're going to make one little adjustment. We're going to take our right hand and instead of putting it on normally, we're going to feel like it's a paddle, like maybe a ping pong paddle. And you're just going to leave it right on the side of the golf club. And now from here, when you take the club back, I need you to feel the side of the club. I need you to be pushing in to your right hand because if you try to roll it, the club is gonna roll across the top of your right hand and it's gonna sit like a, I don't know, a waiter's tray, a platter. I want it to not do that. I don't want it to go whoop. You're gonna have no support there. I want you to create some support for your lead hand and from there, 
take it up to the top. That's when you're gonna feel the right hand almost get involved. It's gonna be activated up here. And then on the way down, what you're gonna do, as you bring it down, you can push on the side of the golf club, but we don't wanna roll on the side of the golf club. You try to roll this golf club on the way down, the club's gonna fly out this way. It might come back and hit you in the shin. So if we go slow, we're gonna take the club back. Oh, that one hurt. This is a really hard drill. We are gonna work on making sure the club goes back, doesn't roll, and you're gonna continue to force and press on the side of the golf club right here to maintain your impact angles. Now, that's a little bit of a bonus, right? Like we're trying to fix our takeaway, but in return, we're gonna get some really good impact position. So watch how badly I'm gonna hit some of these. It's actually gonna be pretty comical, but it's such a difficult drill. Oh, that was actually really pure. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice that really slow. Here's what I really want you to do. Grab like a pitching wedge, maybe a sand wedge. Do it with one of those clubs. Build yourself a little bit of confidence. Get the ball up in the air, right? We wanna see the ball get up in the air. It's a hard drill. But most importantly, if you can do that drill, you absolutely are not rolling the club face and rolling the club around your body, standing up, flattening your shoulders, dumping it over the top. You are most likely making a world-class backswing giving yourself the best chance to make a world-class downswing. And I am shockingly hitting these off the center of the face. That's what I want you to do. Give me some feedback, leave some comments, and hit me up. Let's talk about golf swing next time.